The 21st National Assembly of South Korea today officially kicked off what will be its last extraordinary session. Coming up are a government questioning session and key discussions like finalizing electoral districts. As our political correspondent Ishi, who reports, it could be a tough road ahead. On Monday, South Korea's National Assembly held an opening ceremony recognizing the start of the 21st Assembly's last extraordinary session. The Speaker of the Assembly, Kim Jin-pyo, in his opening remarks said that it's time for a change. We are in desperate need of politics that can give new hope and courage to the people. We need to create a National Assembly that overcomes the crisis and prepares for the future. Speaker Kim said these last three months of the 21st Assembly are its last chance for its, quote, heyday, and vowed to do his utmost best until the very last day. He also highlighted that the Assembly and the administration should work to tackle the country's low birth rate. One way to do so, he says, is through a constitutional amendment. If we respond to core causes of the low birth rate, such as child care, education, and housing issues by identifying them as national tasks in the Constitution, then we will be able to gain people's trust. Meanwhile, floor leaders of the main opposition Democratic Party and the ruling People Power Party will give speeches to the Assembly on Tuesday and Wednesday, respectively. From Thursday to Friday, the Assembly will question the government. A plenary session is scheduled for next week where the parliament will discuss pending issues. One of them finalizing electoral districts for the upcoming election in April. With less than two months to go until the 22nd general election here in South Korea, fierce talks and clashes are expected between the ruling and opposition parties during this February extraordinary session. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.